scientists have discovered that during the last two million years, cold and warm periods of climate caused the Paramo to migrate upwards and downwards hundreds of times, especially during the last million years. These changes could even have been so much as 1,500 vertical metres. When climate was warming, the Paramos moved upwards and its distribution broke into isolated fragments. But when climate cooled, the Paramo moved downslope and the topography of the mountain offered much more space for connections. Interestingly, these cold and warm conditions were distributed unevenly in time. These scientists discovered that during the last two million years, the period of the Pleistocene Ice Ages, warm global temperatures like today, only took about 20% of the time, while cold and cool conditions dominated for over 80% of the time. As a result, the Paramos were often much larger than what we see in the present, and the populations of plants were much more connected. This long dance of connectivity and disconnection is an important mechanism which we call the flickering connectivity system. But thanks to the differences in the topography of the Andes, each paramo was connected and disconnected in a spatially and temporarily unique and different way. In the case of the Purase, in the Colombian Andes, the current area of the paramo is only 5% of what it was 20,000 years ago. As you can see, during cold periods, the Paramos connected along lower elevations, becoming the most dominant ecosystem of the Andean mountains. However, the process of connectivity between Paramos varied dramatically, because if we compare mountains at different times, the connection and disconnection occurred at different elevations, depending on how far the Paramo extended and the presence or absence of plateaus. But what happened at the level of species? One of the consequences of the changing connectivity is that the populations of species became isolated and intermixed numerous times. This connection and disconnection of species populations is an important mechanism for speciation and generates new branches in the tree of evolution.